Hey everyone, so today I am nasally. First, I need to take an allergy pill before we talk about anything. Oof. Today is rough. They said the ragweed is high and they were not joking. Hold on a minute. Seriously, <laughs> I'm an adult. We're gonna go Halloween decor hunting today. But I wanted to show you my outfit because one of you said on the comments, I think it was the last video, uh, last Halloween decor hunting video to do an outfit of the day and uh, say what makeup I'm wearing or whatever, or lipstick especially because I get a lot of questions on what lipsticks I'm wearing in these videos. So I figured I would do a little something something before we head out. I'm washing my sheets today so it's kind of a disaster in here. Um, because my dog decided to wipe her butt on them. So that was a nice little surprise. Anyways, first of all, I'm serving Pugsley Adams realness today. That's what we're going for. I'm wearing this striped t-shirt dress from Boohoo. I'll link it in the description because uh, last I checked, they still have it on the site. Also wearing my old ass um, American apparel leggings that literally are starting to get holes in them, but I refuse to get rid of them because they're so comfortable. And my favorite boots ever, these are old balls from Public Desire, but I've seen them around at other places. So if I can find some that are like it, I will link them in the description for you. Um, and then this hat is from Forever 21. I wasn't gonna wear a hat. Well, I wanted to wear a witchy hat, but it's kind of windy today. And last I tried doing that, we saw what happened at Michael's, if you heard the story about my hat flying off when I walked in the door. So we're just going to go for a more secure number today <laughs> and hope for the best. Uh, also, lipstick I'm wearing today is this CoverGirl. I'm gonna take it with me because I don't know, I've never worn it before, so I don't know if it's gonna last. Uh, it's the CoverGirl, it's dark in here, or I'm getting old, what is it? Melting Pout Matte in the shade Back Talk. Anyways, before I babble on here, I'm gonna let my dogs out really quick and then I'm gonna meet you guys in the car because it's 1130, I was wanting to leave at 1130, so I wanna get out of here. I wanna get some coffee. Whew, it's hot again today. All right, so Halloween decor hunting has officially begun. We are in the car. I brought Mr. Skeleton along, around, <laughs> along with us. Hopefully today, we're gonna see more stuff in stores. That's my hopes. Well, I guess first of all, I should say this. I succeeded in finding the witch, the witch crystal ball soap dispenser that I couldn't stop talking about when on a, like the ultimate search for it or scavenger hunt for it last time we did Halloween decor hunting. Oh, this guy is gonna throw rocks at me, isn't he? Really? Really? So my husband and I were going out to, we're gonna go thrifting a little bit. So this one, uh, it's a kind of a flea market, kind of indoor flea market kind of place. Anyways, I was like, let's go to Home Goods like, and see if they have that soap dispenser. And I saw the soap dispenser, first of all, I'll show you the clip here because it's, of course, the most beautiful thing on the planet. So I saw that. Also, they had a bunch of candles. They had this awesome candle selection, LED candles, candlesticks, uh, little uh, lanterns, stuff like that. That was new there. Uh, also took some video of the outdoor stuff that they had. Nothing that I was exactly looking for, but they had some really cool stuff. to show you all the clips here. They also had this witch it's from that Blue Sky company that I talked about before. I think I even mentioned this in my Hall Halloween decor wish list video. It was this cookie jar. And it ha it's in the shape of a witch head. And the witch hat comes off. It's the coolest thing ever I want. I hopefully I took a video of it. I think I did. The first thing we're going to do besides get coffee. Mmm. We're going to Joann's, first of all. We're gonna hopefully see more at that Joann's so I can, you guys can actually see stuff. Then we're gonna go to, I think there's a Dollar Tree right there. I wanna say there is. And we're gonna probably hit Home Goods. Okay, there's a Stein Mart over there. And I heard, or in the comments, you guys always hook me up with the best stuff ever, like the best Halloween tips. Uh, so Steinmart apparently has some stuff, so we're gonna run in there and see if this Steinmart does. 
Then I'm going to hit Target on the way home and because I got to get groceries. But I'm going to go look at the dollar spot. So that's what we're doing today. I'm not too mad that we're going back to Joann's because I'm hoping to see, especially if you watched my Halloween decor wish list, there's this witch, it's wall decor, and it's a witch, a profile of a witch. It's like a silhouette thing, and I really want to get that. So I'm going to go look for it. Ooh, they have a city thrift out here. Oh no. I wasn't going to go thrifting today. Oh God, that's a pothole. If I've ever seen one, please don't fall in it. Did I almost hit somebody? Here's Joann's. We're gonna go in. It's kind of hot in here. So I just got out of Joann's and oh my gosh, that store was 5,000 times more organized than any, anything. It was, there was a, a lot there. I didn't see one sign of those, that witch silhouette frame thing. Didn't see anything. But I did get a ton of Halloween footage. Came through on that end. They had a lot of this, uh, kind of the same things as the last place or the last Joann's we went to but this one was so much more organized so I feel like you're going to be able to see a whole lot more with the footage I got this time I don't know I really didn't notice the dishware at the other Joann's maybe because it was scattered everywhere but the dishware is really cute this year they have this little chip and dip apparently I'm in this chip and dip situation it was this witch hat and then that top of the hat comes off and then there's a dip bowl there. That was really cute. They also had one, a skull in the center that kind of looked like the one from Pier 1. But it was circular rather than a coffin shape. And I think I might like the coffin shape better, but I'm not sure. Maybe I like the circular one better. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know yet. Their outdoor signs were way more organized. They had a really good selection. I saw that home sweet haunted home sign that I really want for my front porch. Then they had this one that was these witch, it was like a witch leg with a boot and it like kind of, it goes like this in the wind, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, what else? Their wall decor I got more shots of and closer up and got some uh, shots of their cupcakes and like bakeware stuff and like their chocolate mold things or their silicone molds all that kind of stuff all right it's it's busy in here so hopefully i can get some shots but yeah got a lot of shots and joanne's pretty happy about it Ooh, it's hot it's by the way my sunglasses are from she inside or shein.com so i just got out of dollar tree and i got these candy corns and the high flavoring and I got the regular flavor so if I don't like these no big deal oh why can't I open this whoa but that's not good at all it tastes like perfume nope Ugh. everyone in for the OG candy corn. I'm not gonna lie, I can't taste anything after that. Whatever that was. Just left Dollar Tree and they had a bunch of stuff in there, but oddly nothing I saw online. Like a couple of the things I got, I mean, I stocked up. Oh shoot, I just ran that stop sign. Whoops. I mean, I didn't do that. I was looking for those stakes where you put in the ground that like LED lights. Didn't see those but they had a lot of really cute signs this year. They had these beware signs that were really cute. They had one that was like, come in for a spell that I almost got. I just don't know what I'm doing in my planters yet. They had really cute kid stuff. I put together little baskets for my nieces. They had a lot of stuff for that, like little finger puppets, light up necklaces. The one thing that was missing for me is usually I get these bags that they like Halloween, like kids go trick or treating with them, but I use them for gift bags. Yeah, I didn't see any this year. They had more of these little baskets, but the baskets were really small. They had the drapey, gauzy, cheesecloth looking cloths, the creepy cloths, or whatever they're called. They had skulls, skeletons, really cute. Uh, outdoor they did have some steaks for outdoors 
where it had like it said spooky, witchy, beware. But they didn't have the ones that were the LED lights. They had skulls, skeletons, lots of Halloween candy, candy corn, which I'm clearly eating. Taking full advantage of that. What else did they have? They had a lot of the lights that we saw at the last, like the last Halloween decor hunt that we did. The sparkly kind of garland looking stuff they had. Spider webs, just all kinds of things. Um, oh, and they had the same oven mitt design as last year and um, dish towels and that kind of thing. Uh, that, those lots of cute dish towels, some new and then some I saw last year or had similar designs to last year. So um, yeah, really cute stuff. But I feel like I need to go the other one we really only have dollar trees around here i got lots of footage in there though i need to stop eating these i'm gonna go to home goods right now then i'm gonna go into steinmark and see what they have okay why is it at this one that no one can park this person literally parked in but i still got front row all right i'm going in to home goods i would walk over to steinmark i might walk over to Steinmark because it's over there but I also it's so hot that, well maybe if I leave out of TJ Maxx note to self that's what I'm gonna do all right I'm going in all right so I just left home goods and Steinmart oh my god the back of my neck is actually wet <sighs> so anyways back on Halloween decor hunting went to home goods that one is so picked over or maybe it's just there's just a bunch of stuff in random places i still took some footage they had some really cute they had a lot of the soap dispensers so i took a video of that also saw some what else uh, dish towels some candles so a lot of the things that you're gonna see are repeats too that maybe you've seen in other home goods but i just wanted to get some footage so i didn't leave empty-handed went into Steinmart because one of y'all told me to go to Steinmart and you weren't joking I went in there there wasn't a lot there but they did have some really cute stuff and the things that stood out to me first of all they had the glass skull sippy cup things you know the with the straw the, this year Michaels I was kind of complaining about it because Michaels has the plastic ones but they don't have glass ones this year and that was disappointing so they had glass ones at Steinmart if you're looking for them they had some cute pillows, some blankets. They had th these wine cooler, like they're like koozies, but for your wine bottle and that were kind of cute. They had, oh, my favorite thing of all that they had were these sheets that had all these different Halloween, the candy corn, bats, just different cute spiders, I think, skulls, just cute little, ha all these different Halloween things on these sheets they're so cute and they had a king size so I was excited so I'm at Target Target at Target I'm gonna go in see what they have okay so I went into Target and you guys we're having really good luck today we're seeing Halloween at every single store we went to um, in Target, there was nothing at the dollar spot. I was like, I'm not gonna give up. Went to the Halloween section. I knew it probably wouldn't even be empty yet. It's not even empty yet. There's still school supplies in there. So Target had a, not, I wouldn't say like a bunch, but a good selection of adult Halloween pajamas. One set, well, like there were two sets, but like one style was kind of a baggy t-shirt style with leggings. And the other style was kind of more of a pajama top and bottom. That was kind of more of a classic matching situation. The kind of more classic pajama or pajama, they had two, they had a gray one that had all these different characters on it. And they had a black one that had all these different characters on it. And they were so cute. Cats, ghosts maybe. Anyways, and then the, 
other ones with the baggy top and the um, leggings, they had one that said Nightmare Before Coffee, and it was an orange kind of baggier t-shirt. And the leggings on those were black with white spider webs on them. And then the other one was, it had this skull on it that had stars over the eyes. And then I can't, I think the leggings on that one were skulls. Uh, also, over in the t-shirt section, they had some Halloween t-shirts already. They had a jack-o'-lantern one. They had a Mickey Mouse skeleton one. They had a bunch of different Halloween t-shirts, but they had this one. That's an all year round type of t-shirt for me. It had Chucky on it and his arms are open and it says free hugs on it. All right, so I'm home. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Whoa. Hey everyone, so it's day two, well, part three, day two of Halloween decor hunting. This is what we're looking at. I'm wearing the same hat as yesterday. I'm wearing this orange leopard overall situation that I got from She Inside last year. This long sleeve top from Forever 21, literally probably like seven years ago. <laughs> this is so old. The high today is 75, which is warm-ish, but to me it's fall weather, so that's what I'm dressing like today. Uh, also, same boots as yesterday. Going for the Public Desire chunky boot deal. And on my lips today, I'm wearing Lime Crime Salem. It's one of my favorites of all time. So that's what I'm wearing today. This is it. So we are on day two, round three, day two of Halloween to Grow Hunting. Yesterday, I thought was good. We had a good day. We found basically all the stores had Halloween, finally, and which I'm really excited about, and they had some good stuff. So today we're gonna go to, right now I'm headed to At Home, which we haven't been to, or I haven't taken you with me since June. You may have gone, but I haven't gone since June. Then we're gonna go to Kohl's. Also wanna go to the Dollar Tree because it's right there. So I'm thinking about going back into that Dollar Tree to see if they have some branches because I didn't see any at the Dollar Tree we went to yesterday. Okay, here I go. All right, so I went to at home and it looked like a lot of people have been rummaging through the stuff because it was not nearly as organized as when we went in June, which is to be expected. But, oh, there's the Dollar Tree. I didn't know it was there. Well, we're going there. So maybe we'll talk about at home here in a second because we're at Dollar Tree. Okay, I just left Dollar Tree and you know I couldn't go into Dollar Tree without getting some candy. So today I got the Tootsie Fruit Chews. You know those colorful Tootsie Rolls, the flavored ones? the cherry ones in this one and the lemon and basically all of them i even like the vanilla because i'm a freak of nature uh they're all so good i cannot wait to have one of these my mouth is watering these are my favorite ever oh my god they're even better than i remember mm. Oh my god, these are cavity waiting to happen because they're sticking to my teeth, but they're so good. Okay, and they're fresh. They're not hard. You know, the stale ones, when they're stale, they're really stale. Where are we going now? Oh, Kohl's. Okay, let's talk about this. Let's get serious. Went to at home first. I was looking for those goblets, and online they said that they had 24, and I wasn't finding them anywhere. I saw the champagne goblets. I didn't get those, though and uh, found them on the very, very top shelf. So I had to get somebody to get them down so I could look at them and potentially maybe I got them. Then I saw some of the other things that were on my Halloween decor wish list. Some of them were cool, some of them not so much. There was a lot thrown around all over the place while I was there. I still took footage so you'll see uh, there were skeletons. There was, of course, when I walked in, there was the dragon, and kind of like Game of Thrones inspired stuff. They had some really cool crowns like, that you put on your head that I'm like, ooh, maybe I need these for a Halloween look. Not sure what kind of look yet, but kind of feel like I need it. 
They had witchy things. They had some dishware and glassware still left. They had some really cool tablecloths. I walked down the sign aisle and got some more of the signs. They had this black Christmas tree. And I've always wanted a Halloween tree. I've thought about it, but I've never really taken the plunge. So I, the, the reason I loved this one though, was because it was matte black. So it wasn't shiny. Oh my gosh, they have an EV parking here. So I went into Dollar Tree and Dollar Tree had, they didn't have any floral. I'm like, what is going on with the floral section? The branches, the floral, I'm looking for it. It's all fall floral there right now. They did have those bags I was looking for. They were like trick or treat bags, but I use them as gift bags. Super cute, got some of those. Um, obviously got some candy and I got some decorations for my front porch that I'll show you. And I might use them inside if I don't use them on my porch that I'll show you guys in my Halloween decor haul. And yeah, a lot of the same stuff though that we saw at the other Dollar Tree, still no, no sign of any floral or branches. So I'm feeling a little disappointed, but I'm going to go into Kohl's. We're going to see what they have. Okay, we're back this down I just left Kohl's and they had some cute stuff in there they had some home decor that oh my gosh there was this one piece that was this witch flying on a broom or whatever and then you turn on the test button and this glitter comes up it lights up it's a whole thing that I was totally into loved that that was probably my favorite decor item they didn't have a ton of of just home decor they did have some wall signs that were really cute there was a moon with a witch flying on a broom that was dangling from it that was really cute uh what else did i see i saw oh bathroom stuff they had really cute rugs they had this cat rug this cat head rug uh it's really cute and soft and nice they also had a rug a bathroom rug that had a jack-o-lantern on it they had a bunch of bathroom towels, hand towels that were really cute. And then into the kitchen section, they had some cute towels and they had this thing, let me tell you. They had these wine bottle decorations or clothes. Uh, yeah, there was a witch outfit that you put on a wine bottle. I, I never knew in my life that I needed to dress my wine bottle like a witch, but uh, now I feel like I do. <laughs> Also, they had uh, really cute placemats. They had this one that had these jack-o'-lanterns. It was like black and orange and I think a little silver on it. That was really cute. It had a bunch of just different Halloween characters on it. And then, or maybe it's just jack-o'-lanterns. I can't remember now that I think about it. Uh, and then they had a really cute one with a cat on it. And I think they had a couple cute ones with cats on it, actually, now that I think about it. They had a jack-o'-lantern. They had... Uh, just a bunch of really cute placemats, actually. So now I'm on my way to Pure One. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Okay, I'm not even close to Pure One. What am I doing? I don't want to go to Aldi. Or do I? There's a parking spot right there in front of Pure One. And there's a Ross next door. Maybe I should run into Ross, too. Do you think? Let's do it. We'll make it a whole... This is going to be like a good Halloween decor hunting. We're going to see some real stuff, finally. All right, I'm going into Pure One. Let's do it. All right, so I just left Pier 1 and Ross. Okay, first of all, Pier 1 had the coffin chip and dip bowl and uh, it was on another level of amazing. Anyways, while I was in Pier 1, like the lady was like, can I help you? And I was like, oh no, I was just looking to see if you had your Halloween stuff out. She said a third of it was basically already gone, which is just perfect. Should have gone earlier, uh, but they had a bunch of witches and uh, skeletons and spiders and candles and really pretty wreaths and pillows. And they had a really cute skeleton coffee mug. Everything was so cute there. That one little house thing that I put in my Halloween decor wish list was even better in person than I was expecting. Really good quality, really beautiful. Oh no, at Pier One, the lady that was working there was like, I'm like, oh, I love this. Like, I can't tell you what I got. But I'm like, I love this so much. And she was like, oh, uh, do you decorate for Halloween or do you leave it out all year round? And I was like, oh, well, you know, uh, some things, you know, I decorate all year round and some, year, some things I don't. And she was like, oh, so the look, is that all year round? And I'm like, <laughs> I 
I didn't even wear my witch hat today. It was funny because I didn't, I don't think she, she didn't mean it in a, in a bad way or in a weird way or I didn't take offense to it. I just had to laugh because I wasn't even thinking about that. I was like, oh, what, my look? What do you mean? Then I went to Ross and Ross didn't have a lot. Let me tell you that much. They did not have a lot, but what they had was really good. First of all, their pillow selection was better than anywhere I've been so far. Way better. They had a, um, an advent calendar one that had, you know, the how many 31 days and it had a candy corn that you put into each pouch after each day or at the beginning of each day and do the, the advent calendar. I thought that was super cute. I'm probably going to regret not getting that actually. So oh, mugs, they had these mugs. I think I even mentioned them in my Halloween uh, decor wish list video. They didn't have the devil one that I want, but they had the cat and the pumpkin and oh my gosh, they were $3.99. Other mugs, they had some other cute mugs. They had these really cute cups, these big plastic cups with all these Halloween things that had pentagrams on it. It was really cute. They had some cute blankets. They had a couple of pumpkins and skulls and these like light up lantern type of things. Their stuff was good. Their pillow selection was top notch. I'm impressed. So that was our day today. I will see you guys next when I see ya, I guess. Okay, everyone, it is September 2nd, and it's early as balls. What time is it? Nine? Maybe nine? Um, but it's like early as balls. It's Labor Day. Um, but I'm headed over to do my mom's hair, and I figured we would maybe stop by Target and check out the dollar spot. I didn't go yesterday on the first, which is when they were supposed to put stuff out. So I'm gonna head there right now. I don't think it's probably picked over yet, but can we ever really know for sure? It is Target. I'm gonna go to one by my house. I also wanna see what Starbucks has to see if they have any cups. And then I'm gonna go to the one by my mom's house before I go to her house. Oh sweet, Target is basically empty this is what the parking lot looks like when uh on halloween like the day after halloween okay i'm going into target we're gonna see right. are we going I can't even tell when my car is on <laughs> so here's the deal i went in there and it looks like they're putting stuff out like they have boxes out that they're unloading so i'm wondering if they're halloween but they only have like one shelf, which I took a video of, and you can see all the empty shelves next to it. So it looks like it's gonna happen, but still it's not there. That Starbucks there still has like spring cups. I don't know what's happening. So, all right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this Starbucks and I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna see if they have any Halloween cups. And I'm gonna get myself a coffee. Whoa, it's busy. What are people doing today? No joke, the line is 5,000 people long and the parking lot is basically full. Do I even wanna go in here? If there is a Starbucks cup left, I doubt it looks very good. All right, so no sign of any mugs. I got a cold brew while I was in there. What I don't get about this whole thing is it seems like everyone's cutting back on their merch in the Starbucks stores or everyone that I've been to. And what I don't get about it is they quit selling their merch online to encourage people to come in the store and buy it, right? But then they quit selling everything in stores? I'm just confused. All right, so let's go to the other Target. I just, I'm leaving my mom's right now. We melt my mom's yard, sorry, sorry, sorry. What the heck are they doing? There's a shirtless man walking down the center of the road. Not even looking. Uh, my leakage in my nose right now today. Damn it. Oh my gosh. Do you have a Kleenex? I think I put Kleenex in my bag because my allergies have been horrible. The ragweed. The ragweed. I feel like this is a whole mood, a whole Monday mood, right? <laughs> Having a faucet nose 
moment. And I clearly have had too much coffee because now I'm like, <laughs> ah, we went from zero to 5,000 in a matter of an hour. So my mom, by the way, makes the best homemade salsa on earth. And cause she grows all these tomatoes in her garden and peppers and all these things and then makes salsa. So she gave me two whole things of it and I am so excited to eat it. And then I chop up these avocados into cubes and then put them in this fresh salsa and it's on another level. Oh, there's a dollar, we're going to the Dollar Tree too. We're doing it all today. We're going in. I just left Target and Dollar Tree because Target's right across from Dollar Tree. So I just went ahead and went in. Taking off. Wait, no, no, wait. I went to Target first. Target had nothing. Literally not one thing to even take a video of. But the Target that I went, the first one I went to, they're at least putting stuff out. So it should be tonight. I'm guessing they're gonna put stuff out all day. Maybe we'll end up going tomorrow morning. Anyways, so I went to Dollar Tree and right there, front and center, they had those steak lights that I talked about in my Halloween decor wish list video. And they're really cute in person. One with the witch flying over the moon was almost sold out. They only had like two left. I took the last two. Spoiler alert. So I figured even if I don't use them in my planters, if I decide that I like the Target ones better, I can at least use them on my pathway and do it that way. Or just like in my mulch or something like that. I like the fact that they're a dollar and I like the fact that they're solar. Also, Grandin Road is having a sale today. 20% off. And it's tempting me to get that palm reader sign once and for all the reason i didn't mention it in my halloween decor wish list video is because it was one of those places that had a lot of repeats wait before i go i forgot to mention about dollar tree they didn't have their branches or their whoops black roses out yet i meant to say that i totally forgot and i uh that's that's it everything else was kind of the same actually they didn't have a lot out they had a lot of stuff still in boxes. She said they were understaffed and couldn't get a whole lot out. I was like, if you hire me, I'll get it done today and then quit so I can see what's in them. Hey everyone, so I'm in my bathroom, in my powder room, because I was out in my living room and I currently have some stuff, some Halloween stuff out on my dining room table and throughout the house to kind of start figuring out how I'm gonna style everything. So, uh, yeah, anyways, we're gonna head out here in a second. We're gonna go to Target and see if they have anything in their dollar spot. But in the meantime, I thought I'd show you a little outfit makeup of the day thing. Uh, this eyeshadow is a new palette I just got in the mail like a couple days ago. I think it's called, I'll put the name of the company right here. And the palette is called the Mirage palette, I believe. And it is amazing. Did this look with it today, loving it. Um, also, lashes, I'm wearing Rouge and Rogue Lady Killer lashes. And on the lips, I'm wearing uh, a CoverGirl, I forget what it's called, it's like the Queen Collection or something, and it's called Sweet Sweetest Ease. Looks a little bit similar to that jam, slow jam shade, but a little bit more winey looking, like wine colored. Um, anyways, my outfit, I'm wearing this Killstar, what is it called? Eternal Eclipse Fedora hat. It has the moons on on the little ribbon thing. Uh, and then my necklaces, this one and this one, not with the moon, but the chain. Uh, they're from Forever 21 a couple years ago. Uh, and then the moon one and then this long one with all these little moons on it, those are from Shop Dixie. For outfit, I'm wearing this, I'll show you in the mirror. I'm wearing this long, baggy, kind of sheer t-shirt that uh, it's actually my husband's that he got from H&M uh, several years back, probably three or so years ago. And these leggings, which are the leggings I wore the other day, my, uh, what are they, my American Apparel black, they were LeMay, but the LeMay wore off and now they're the most, they're still the most comfortable leggings of all time. Uh, and then for shoes, I'm wearing those chain boots that I got from Boohoo that I showed you in my most recent Boohoo haul. This is my favorite outfit to wear, especially on days where I need to come home and clean a little bit, 
or maybe I'm gonna be sitting down and editing in a really uncomfortable position for a while and just wanna be kinda comfortable but still kinda make it stylish, I'll just wear this kind of longer, thinner, drapier t-shirt and leggings and then just accessorize and make it look like it's something that it's not. So then just layer some necklaces, throw on a witchy hat and some cute boots and then it looks a little bit more dressed up. I don't know if you can even see the boots. Anyways, we're gonna head out. We're gonna go to Target Dollar Spot so I'll see you guys in the car. Okay. Already pretty toasty out. Keep forgetting Mr. Skeletons in here. No sign of the post person. Did I let my dog in? Okay, let's try this again. Actually, I need some water. So, my friend yesterday brought me a guava tea lemonade. I'm not sure what that was, but it was the most amazing thing I've ever tasted from Starbucks probably, except for coffee, obviously, but it was so delicious. I'm craving one right now. And I grabbed the most unsatisfying drink ever, which are these sparkling waters. Like, they don't quench my thirst at all. They just make me more thirsty, I feel like. But, whatever. Anyways, we're off. We're going Halloween decor hunting again. We're going back to the dollar spot. Yesterday was unsuccessful. I thought by now, you guys, I thought for sure I got this in the bag. This Halloween decor hunting situation, this time around, round three, we've got it. There's not going to be one place out there that doesn't have Halloween. They're all gonna be stocked. It's gonna be amazing. <sighs> Target. Why are you doing this to us? Why are you doing it to us? The curse. Is there anywhere else over there that we haven't hit? We hit Ross, we hit Pier 1. There's a spirit Halloween right there, but my brother said that he went the other day and they were just starting to like kind of stock. Like they didn't have a lot on the shelves yet. I am at Target. Well, I'm not going in there because you're driving like a bat out of hell down the middle of the lane. Anyways, I'm at Target. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna find this. I'm gonna find the dollar spot. I also need to get some Reese's peanut butter pumpkins for my husband. And I may or may not eat some every once in a while. <laughs> I got a snack, this Luna, Luna bar, the peanut, creamy, dreamy peanut butter one. It's so good. So I just left Target. Good news is their dollar spots. Still some empty spaces. I don't know if it was already picked over or if those boxes just haven't come out yet. Anyway, lots of stuff. They had the cutest branchy trees, which they had some last year that were in this metal bucket. This year they were in this like intricate looking vase and I'm like, do I really need more branchy trees? And the answer is always yes. I feel like you can never have enough branchy situations and I'm really wanting to leave those types of branchy things up all year round. They had the little candy jars that they have every year with the mouths that are open. They had a witch, they had a pumpkin and what was the other one they had? A bat, a bat. Oh my gosh, now I was like literally so excited that I can't even remember what I was even looking at. I was just trying to get all the footage I could. Um, uh, they had this little branchy wreath. They had these signs. One of them was a Ouija board sign, but it didn't say Ouija on it. It just said spirits. And, and another one said, welcome to our haunted farmhouse. They had napkins and little plates. They didn't have a lot of them. So either they got picked up or they just haven't put them all out. I don't even know. I'll just put all the footage that I got here because they had some really cute stuff. Oh, they had these bowls that were spider web bowls. They kind of look like the ones that are Dollar Tree, but they're metal, which I like even better because the plasticky ones are pretty flimsy and cheapy. And I'm looking for a spider web type of bowl I could put out all year round. Also, they had the black and they had it in rose gold or gold. Anyways, that was exciting. Oh, my budget is not looking good this year, guys. 
I'm almost home and I gotta get this chocolate out of my trunk because it is five gajillion degrees out and it's gonna melt and then Reese's peanut butter cups are disgusting when they melt and they get cold again. I thought I was holding on to my camera because that almost just flew off. Hey everyone, so I am currently driving to Target. Uh, so I didn't record in the car on my way here. I'm literally like pulling in right now. <laughs> Anyways, I'm headed to Target's today. I'm going to a couple Target's, this one and one other one. We're back out by my mom's where we were the other day where the shelves were completely empty. I'm hoping they're full of Halloween stuff. And we're gonna check out two Targets. This one and one other one. And then I need to go to the international market and get some, I get, did I mention this before? I can't remember, but I get these huge bags of bok choy for $2. They're delicious. So I'm gonna go, or baby bok choy or whatever it is. Um, so I'm gonna go do that. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go in to Target. We are here. All right, so I just left Target number one and it had some dollar spot, Halloween dollar spot items, some. And I got some better shots of a couple of the things that I saw yesterday. There were these glittery pumpkins that I totally forgot to get shots of. So I got some of that today. They had these little pumpkins that said boo on them that I didn't see at the other store. Uh, they had a pillow that was striped on one side, like orange and black striped on one side and said boo with a pumpkin on it on the other side. A lot of it is very, uh, like the main trend I'm seeing this year is the, the farmhouse kind of trend. So there's a lot of that out there. What else did I see? Uh, those branches that I got shots of yesterday. Uh, some lights, some like, uh, like some of them had ghosts, other ones had pumpkins, uh, little gravestones, these cute little candles. I saw a pumpkin candle yesterday at the Target we went to but they had little coffins at the one I was just at and was, they were so cute. Love the black coffin because naturally, but it smells like my grandma's perfume. I couldn't get into it. So unfortunately, the pumpkin one smells really good though. Um, there were some really cute signs. What else? Uh, just different stuff than I saw yesterday. So I'm glad I went to that one. We'll see at this next one what they have. Oh shoot, I forgot to check their Halloween section in general. Oops, that's okay, we'll check this next place. Uh, anyways, we're headed to Target 2.0. I'm gonna get my guava drink. I don't know what it is, tea, lemonade, what is it? I don't know. All I know is it's magic in an actual cup and I cannot wait. Like I, do you ever get thirsty for something and then nothing will quench your thirst until you have it? That's how I'm feeling right now about this guava thing. We're gonna go look at this Halloween stuff. You guys, I like, I cannot wait. I didn't get my tea. I gotta get it on my way home, but there was a line. It's a whole story. Anyways, I'm so excited because the, the freaking Halloween gods have spoken. The curse has been broken. I did not mean that to be so rhymy. But not only did this Target have their dollar spot. The dollar spot wasn't the best dollar spot I've seen. But I went to go check out to see, hey, maybe they're putting out Halloween decorations. Sure enough, they are fully, basically fully stocked, almost. There are some empty areas you'll see, but for the most part, the ghoulish garden is there. Everything that I wanted to see was there. Some of the things, it wasn't exactly what I was thinking it would be. Some of the other things exceeded my expectations. So, by the way, the ghoulish garden is on another level. I was worried that it was gonna look like the like no offense to Michaels, cause obviously like I'm a huge fan of what Michaels had this year, but when they did their little shop of horrors, it was just a little, it wasn't as well made necessarily. This stuff is like, not just like a thin plastic. It's like a thick 
dimensional. There's a million. I, it's so good. It looks like they were still stocking. So there was only like one of each. I'm assuming they're going to get more or unload more. They had a lot of boxes out. Uh, saw another fish tank that was there last year or similar to last year. Saw some candlesticks that were really cute. These cat, there were black cat ones and a snake one that was really cute. What else? What else do I have? pumpkins they had a bunch of skulls they had the wall stickers that i'm really into every year they had really cute bat wall stickers with like a moon and it was really amazing they had a bunch of skeleton stuff they had those stakes the lights that go like the stake lights um in the dollar spot they had neons at this one they had a pumpkin neon that i hadn't seen before and last year i missed out on all the neons so i've been trying to snatch them up uh, also, what else in the Halloween section am I missing? Oh, they have these really cute like settings that you can build. So they had little haunted houses and a little cemetery and a little pumpkin house. And then they had, you can get these little figurines are all wooden. And then you buy the figurines like in a pack and then you have like a witch and a little cat and stuff like that. They're so cute. Um, lots of really cool interactive, like fun, you know, the... The Ghoulish Garden had a jack-o'-lantern with these little uh, Venus fly traps sticking out and they would dance. And I'll show the footage actually here because I think I got the sound. <laughs> Uh, that was really cute. And then they had an eyeball guy and a magic ball. They had this, it was a whole thing. And I've never been so excited. I got a ton of footage so I'm just gonna keep playing it here because it was so good. The skulls were good this year. They had purple and black. They had glass and velvet. They had these cute little stuffed, I always love their little stuffed figurines. They had really cute ones this year. They had a really cute, they had a couple cute candelabras, cute light up signs, like neon looking signs that were really amazing. And I loved everything about it. I just, I'm like, ugh, I, I should have gotten more. I feel like <laughs> anyways um, I'm trying to be good because I already got quite a lot this year and I'm still you know I want to have more like I still want to buy stuff next year so anyway okay well I'm at the international market all right so I'm headed home it is 2 30 I got a Snapple instead of my tea because I looked on my app to see what it was called it's the iced guava whatever Although this is pretty good. Uh, and it's sold out in like every store on my way home. So you win some, you lose some. I'm just going to go home and admire my Halloween decorations. No, not really. I'm actually going to go home and edit this. I was going to edit a hair tutorial, but you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go home and I'm going to edit this because I'm so excited we saw stuff at Target. Oh God, this is good. Mm. Yeah, it's good. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to edit this video and show you guys. I'm so excited. I feel like we've been on this journey together and it all led up to this moment. <laughs> so I just started eating chips and salsa per usual. And um, realized I forgot to do an outfit of the day today. So I'm wearing these shoes, I believe are Steve Madden. I'll show you a close up. They're, I don't know, they're probably about five years old. Uh, so they're definitely nice and broken in. My skirt is from Target a couple years ago. It's just a black floral skirt, black and white floral skirt and it's got the slit up the center. Just a nice little witchy number going on. And my top is, it's a Salem 1692 on it. It's from Disturbia a year or so ago. And I just, it's more of a tunic. So I just kind of tucked it in front, you know, a casual vibe. And then my hat, this is once again, the Killstar Eternal Eclipse Fedora hat, which is my favorite ever, probably my most worn. I love the witch brim hat, but this one I feel like it's like a practical everyday type of hat for me. And then my lipstick is Necromancy Cosmetica's uh, Magdalena 
lipstick. It's a red. It's the perfect red. Anyways, that is it for this video. Thank you for Halloween decor hunting with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say hey ghoul hey down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. Also, feel free to chat about anything you saw in the video, anything you liked, anything you wanted to, I don't know, comment on or talk about. Uh, let's chat it up in the comments. So yeah. Uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.